Hey there, welcome back. I'm your man Nar. So if you own a WordPress website and want to track your website's performance by installing Google Analytics, please don't do it by going to your theme, header, and adding the tracking code in there. Because whenever you update your theme, the tracking code will be removed and your tracking will be stopped. So that way you won't be able to see your performance from that point on. So there are better ways of doing it. It's either by installing certain plugins and adding the code through that plugin or creating a child theme of your main theme and adding the code in that child theme. So that way, whenever you update your main theme, the tracking code will not be removed and your tracking will not be stopped. So please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you will find this content valuable. And let's start. If you create or run a website and want to improve it, then my channel and website is for you. Head over to my website, yourmanlar.com, and you will find tons of informative content, tips and tricks, ready-made websites with complex functionalities for sale, and most importantly, discounts for the best tools to improve your website's performance. Enjoy this video. I hope it will be valuable for you. As always, I'm your man Nar. All right, great. So right now I will show you how to properly install it. First, we will go to Google Analytics and I have already created the account. It's really simple to just create an account. Now I will create a property. So create a property. Uh, the name is Window uh, Shopping. So this is one of my websites that I use for tutorial purposes. So this is nothing serious, but I will show you how to properly install your tag. So it's web uh, window shopping dot website window shopping that's the name of my website create stream so uh, google right now created a stream for my website so uh, in the global site tag this is the code that I, we want to install uh, on the website so previously what i would do i would go to appearance theme editor and from here i would find theme header which is this one and i would have added the code after this head section uh, but this is not good because every time the theme is updated uh, the tracking code will be removed and that's not what we want we want the tracking code to be there uh, forever so as an alternative the first thing is to add certain plugins one of which is google analytics uh, this is the plugin so what, I, what i'm going to do is go to plugins add new add two new plugins so it's, uh, we will add other Google Analytics or head and footer code uh, through which you can enter the code in the head section. So we will add in GA Google Analytics. And in the second one, I will add head and footer code. So let it search. So this one is the first plugin. So it has 600,000 uh, active installations. Just install and activate. And the second one is this, uh, is this plugin. So it has 80,000 uh, installations. So they are really trusted plugins. You can see five star reviews and activate. So you can use either one of them. So it doesn't really matter. I will show you both and then I will show you an alternative way to do it. So it's Google Analytics. We go to settings. And this is really simple. How to use, it shows everything. Uh, Google Analytics tracking ID. All you have to do is go to your Google Analytics. And from here, you can see we have the measurement ID. So we copy this code and we pass it in here. We want it to be a global site tag and we just say changes. So this gets the job done, okay? So now if we open our website in another browser, uh, I'm sorry. Window shopping dot website. And if we come to the Google Analytics, we can see that in the real time, there are actually visitors from Yerevan where I am located right now. So this is the coming soon page that we once created in the previous uh, tutorial. Right now, users per minute, 30 minutes. Uh, we just wait, did we update everything? Did I save changes? I did. So now, uh, 
it should change to one. Let's wait a few seconds. So I just want to show you that it's normal if things don't work out from the first time, but it usually does and it will uh, do this time as well, I'm sure. So how are you guys doing? Uh, are you enjoying your day? Are you enjoying your lives? Are you happy where you're at? Okay, so we can see that we have one visitor is from Yerevan. So this is uh, obviously this browser. So this was the first method. Uh, as you can see, it's really fast. The second method, uh, I'm gonna go and remove this plugin. So it's deactivate. So you saw this first method. Uh, and I, I will tell you when not to use it. So let's say if you want to add Google Analytics and Google Ads, so that way, uh, install the hit and footer code. So go to settings. Because if you want to install your, like, your Google uh, Ads as well, all you have to do is go to admin, set up assistant, tag installation, window shopping, global site tag, copy this code and paste it in here. You can see head code, code to anchor in head section before the head. Okay, so this is actually good. So we will pass it in here. So if you wanted to add uh, Google ads as well, you would have just added the uh, tracking code uh, just below this. So you already have the global site tag Install. So all we have to do is update, save changes. Now, if you once again go to our website, real time. So this is the previously uh, uh, added the code. So this is the previous user. So it's in the last 30 minutes. Uh, so this is user per, per minute. Right now we have zero. And if we talk about our lives a little bit more, we will also add, see an extra user in here because uh, we just added the code uh, different in a different way. After this one, I will show you how to add the code by creating a child theme uh, and adding the code in there. Uh, that is a bit uh, confusing, to be honest, because uh, I see a lot of new guys who come and they don't really understand uh, what to do with the chart theme. But basically, uh, it's the same theme. You can only make changes on it and it will not be removed whenever you update your theme. So that's the entire benefit of having a chart theme. So we're just waiting for this to be confirmed. Uh, if you trust me, guys, I will just skip this step. Uh, <clears throat> because it's going to work 100%. We did nothing wrong. We just added the code. But uh, lately, Google Analytics is, has been taking longer uh, to respond than it used to. Uh, it, like a year ago, it, it used to show the results right away. Right now, it doesn't. As you can see, we, we still see the same user. And in one minute ago, we have zero users. So it does users per minute. Uh, now it should start to show. Have we updated this? Did we update this? I just really don't want to waste more of your time because uh, it's pointless. I hope you trust me. I just want to move on. So this is the last attempt. If it doesn't work, I will. Okay, so it's working. So you can see we have one user zero minutes ago. So this is the new checking code with the other plugin, the footer and header. Uh, so right now I will go leave this. I will go to plugins. I will maximize this window. I will go to plugins and refresh this page. 
then I will deactivate head and footer code. Now I will remove bo both plugins. Right now, Google Analytics cannot track our website because we have both plugins removed and I will add a new plugin. Now, remember, we are, we are adding a child theme, child theme, search child theme, because uh, we don't want the code to be removed whenever we update the main theme. So go to add new plugin, search for child theme, and then add this plugin. It has 200,000 plus active installations. So activate. There are other plugins that do, that do the same exact thing. So there is no need to uh, look around. There's one that works and it works fine. So why not? So go to tools and child themes. Now, uh, select an action, create a new child theme. Yes. Select the parent theme. Mine is currently Navy. Actually, Navy all, uh, also has its own child theme on the website. You can just download that and install it. But this is the general way of creating child themes for any theme. <coughs> so this theme appears OK to use a child theme. Uh, so everything looks good. This is the name of the child theme and create new child theme. It is this easy to create a child theme. Now go to appearance themes. Now from here, activate, you can see that we have created two, the child theme. So this is Nivi child. Uh, this is my current theme. So activate this one. This is really simple guys. No need to worry, no need to panic. Uh, all we're gonna do is install the code in the child theme. So <clears throat> now, since we activated this one, theme editor. I'm trying to get the code from my other window, so don't worry, I'm not doing anything shady. Now in here, you can see we have only theme functions. We don't have theme header. That's why we will have to add some code. I will add the code in the description of the video. No need to worry, it works 100%, maybe even 200%, who knows. So right now we can see that we don't have any hits for the past three minutes because we have removed the code. So admin, setup assistant, tag installation. And from here in the window shopping, global site tag, I will copy this code and paste it in between the code that I just added. So this is the code that I added. So what this basically is uh, telling is to add the code, this code uh, in the header. So it's WP head, which is WordPress. So update file. File edited successfully. Now, once we go to Google Analytics, again, I will, uh, I, I, I apologize terribly for making you wait, but uh, we're doing what we can. I just want to show you that the process is this easy, so real time. Now we will have an extra user added because the checking will start. So this is the same user that we had for the past 30 minutes. You can see that we didn't have any users for the past four minutes because three minutes because we were we have removed it and we were creating the child theme. Uh, let's give it a minute and talk about our lives one more time. So what are y'all doing? What do you want to do? Uh, what do you website? Why are you creating your website? You can add that in the comments of the video. I want to know how you guys are doing uh, because, you know, we all started from somewhere and that somewhere is actually doing something. You will never reach uh, you will never arrive anywhere if you remain at the same position. So I'm happy y'all are trying something and I wish you good luck no matter what happens. I'm just trying to buy some time. I don't want to cut no parts, guys. I really don't want to. Okay, so you can see that we have this new user in the past minute, uh, which we added by creating the child theme. So this way, no matter how many times I update my main theme, uh, this code that I, uh, this uh, tracking code that I added in the uh, child theme will never be removed. I will add the code in the description below. Just make sure you change this part from global site tag, Google Analytics until the end of the script. 
by your actual script that you, you will find in your Google Analytics account. So there is nothing to be panicked about. There is nothing to worry. Uh, all you have to do is follow the steps that I just mentioned and went through. You can see that it took us around 10 minutes to uh, try three different methods. So it's really fast, it's really effective, and this way you will never lose your checking code whenever you update your team. So if you like the video and find it valuable, please like it and subscribe to my channel. That really helps. As always, I'm your man, Nar, and see you next time. Cheers.